Today, early in the morning around 6 o'clock, I got a lesson that how much failure is important in life. One of my friend, a really good friend, he was in Microsoft. It was his very first job. He cracked the job uh, in the very first interview, ever interview he gave in life. He prepared so hard for it. And when he appeared, it was like an IIT JE moment for you that, hey, I was able to crack the interview. So good. So we felt so good for him. And since then, he has been he has been with the Microsoft, working there rigorously. And he was just so passionate about all the tasks that were being assigned to him, Microsoft. He never left even a single moment to show off that I work in Microsoft. But today I got a call that he and got to know that he recently has been laid off and he cannot process this information. So early in the morning around six o'clock and since then for the next two hours I was just listening, just patiently listening. Now I could have come up and said that, hey, you are disposable to the company. Uh, they can throw off you anytime. You'll get the new job. But no, I didn't did that. I just patiently listened to him and he felt so good after getting his all the burst out, ranting all the things that he wanted to rent. But this made me realize that what's important is not the first job. It's not the first business which is important. What's important is your second job and your second business because once you taste the success and uh, then you fell down, that is where a lot of things hurts you the most. When you fail it at the first, okay, it's a failure. You have never tasted the success. But after tasting the success, when you fell down, that is where it hurts the most. It's not the first job that is difficult. It's the first switch that is the most difficult. And I'm pretty sure he's a talented guy. He'll eventually find a job or now he's exploring the option to do his own business, planning to come into EdTech as well. And I said open heartedly, uh, welcome to the EdTech if you want to. Uh, there's a lot of uh, space here in this world. There is a lot of always something new that you can teach. Uh, but really, I felt so much of the heartbroken by seeing his condition that he gave so much to the company uh, more than 10, 12 years of his life and uh, so much happy boasting about that how Microsoft was able to crack the deal with OpenAI and now he's ranting that probably OpenAI is the reason why he lost his job. It's it's really tough time. Uh, it's happening left and right uh, to a lot of my known friends that they have been laid off from big organizations like Google and Microsoft. Uh, they took a lot of their life decision based on that. Now they're in a good company and uh, it will be all fine from now. They will be financially stable. Uh, the income is there and everything. But it, it teaches us all a lesson in life that nothing is permanent. And uh, there can be any time an earthquake that can come up. It might come in a variety of forms. Sometimes in the financial tremors. Fun, sometimes as stability tremors. Uh, but tremors are there. A lot of people are losing their job and uh, the impact of this COVID didn't came to the IT immediately, but eventually the impact came in. And right now we are facing the impact of the financial crisis as well. And yes, don't feel disheartened. I know it's easy to say that rather getting being in that emotion in the moment, it's really difficult. But all I can say is, don't be like that. It's it's not the the end. It's just a start of a new journey. Um, maybe you'll do much better. Maybe you'll start your own business. Maybe you'll get much better company. Maybe you'll do a business of your own. So something will happen. It will be definitely much more and it will be better. So, and again, it's not your fault. It's not like you are not a great engineer. You still are and you will do great magics in the future. Uh, so to all the people who have lost their job, uh, it's a financial crisis. It's just getting started. It might become a little bit more bad, uh, especially after the report that came out from uh, the BlackRock that how the 2023 is going to change. If you can read that report uh, out in the BlackRock uh, financial statements and all the reports that they have released. So that's something that you can read out or I can make a video about that. But this video is more about saying that, yes, this is an impactful time. And if possibly you can help out a friend by listening to him, just do it. Just do it, man. It's worth it. And you'll feel so much better. He'll feel so much better. No need to give unnecessary advice. He's a smart engineer. He can understand the things that company can throw them off and he can always restart. He knows that stuff. 
Right now, what he need is a person who can listen and be a good friend, uh, who can just be with him in this rant. So just try to be a good friend and a good person in general. So yeah, tough time. I honestly felt really bad for him that so much of the time was given to the company and uh, it happened to him, uh, but it happened to a lot of people as well. Anyways, uh, tough times. Let's be together and uh, it will pass. It will pass.